Welcome back, everyone, to Scavenging with Piney for a series of Tales, Travels, and Trifles. And today we will be running the Trifles portion of Week 8, where we will be reflecting on the past. In fact, we will be doing two types of reflections. First off, we'll be doing a reflection on the crossroads of Volume 3 of the Epic Storyline, where we change our path where we're going. And then after that, we will be running on the culmination of the Hootfold storyline. So now let's go and experience a dream. You should get what rest you can, my friend, and try not to dwell upon the horrors of the battle. Perhaps things will seem less grim by the light of day. Well, I hope so, because things certainly look rather grim at the moment. And this is a dream you have after the Battle of the Fords of Aizen, where nothing moves within Grimbold's camp. And here's Theodred. You know Theodred did not die at this place, but the sight of the fallen prince still fills you with regret and with worry about the future of the kingdom. The dream holds you in its grip and refuses to let you go. Oh, hello there. I think you might be asleep, Pineley. Ah, uh, Candate. And of course, Candate died earlier in the epic storyline. Hmm. Your journey must have been an arduous one, Pineley, if this is the tapestry of your dreaming. May you find restful sleep at the end of your road, my friend, for I fear you will have little of it for a while. Walk with me for a ways, Pineley. There are some things we need to discuss. Right, I see dead rangers. Death is all around you. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. I felt it on the Forsaken Road, and I feel it here. But you must not abandon hope, Pineley. Even in the darkest night is followed by day. All of us have left someone behind. That is why we brave the darkness. We fight so that they may see dawn. All right, I guess that makes sense. Do not lose sight of who you are, my friend, and do not despair. I will give my life a thousand times to be even the smallest help to Aragorn, my chieftain. That is what it means to be one of the Dunedain. It was no difficult for these men to Rohan or for their prince. They strove to protect their people and would do so again if given the opportunity. Weep for the need of it, but do not mourn their choice. I know they must be content. So it comes. Let us meet him at the gate and keep him from further disturbing our rest. All right, wait. Hurry, this way. Oh, yes, let's do a 180. Surround the bodies. Uh, we need time to bury all of these, I think. All right. Ah, there we go. He is close. He is your own foe to face, Pineleaf. I will not be able to help you stand against him and you will be on your own. Let the knowledge that you have already proven the stronger lighten your heart and bring your courage. And they're talking about here is uh, Morflak, the foe you have in the early parts of the, of the Isengard area. Finally, you will never escape me. My hatred lives on. Oh, food. Steady, Piney. His weapon is fear. Do not be afraid. Fear. Not surprised? Okay. Uh, it's a big version of Morflak. You, you've grown a little Morflak. You cannot hope to defeat me. A dreamy Morflak. Well, the good news is I'm a few levels... Yeah. A lot easier now that I'm level 105. 
You will never escape. Uh, don't trample me. And now we seem to be in Tier Fornech, which is, of course, an Ivendim. Your dreaming mind roams far afield, Pinely. Asleep, you are much like a ranger. I hope you do not mind me saying so. <laughs> Our friends have had their own road now, Pinely. May they reach Aragorn in time to be of use to him. It is my hope that the most dangerous leg of the journey is behind them. But I fear it is not so. But this is, ends the point where we're actually traveling with the rangers. So I hope it's the most dangerous part of the road that they have. How much hardship will our friends face before the end? Well, okay, there is obviously some more because we have those interludes. So much has been lost already. He lost a daughter, and he almost lost himself. And that, of course, is Goladir. Goladir stands before you, tall and proud, with his eyes burn with fire and his lips twist with a sneer. I will not rest until he dies. Mordorous! No, 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 no. That's not right. Lou Brennan, you must. Uh, he doesn't finish the sentence. This way, Pinely. Goladir has passed beyond your help. Others of our friends dwell near your thoughts. And, of course, this is Lothrin Deer between Saruman and Gunain who is keeping him prisoner. Lothrandir stands before you, struggling against his bonds, but his eyes show no sign of despair. Defiance shines from those wells of blue, and his mouth is a resolute line. Lothrandir resists, that is all he knows, and he will never submit to his captors. I fear he knows not any better. Okay. What will happen to Lothrandir? The only one who can save Lothrandir now is Lothrandir. Kalinglad! Kalinglad stares out into the lake, his eyes glassy. He takes no notice of you. Gwyndeth! Gwyndeth! Are you there? I should not have left you, Queen Death. But your duty. It is a mistake. I was not strong enough for this duty. Candate, Bragar, so many of my friends. I failed them, but I will not fail you, my love. No, I forbid it. Stop. Stop, Kalinglad. Oh boy, now th th those are deep tears. And uh, now we are in Thinglad, which is a great river. At this point of the game, where you first do this instance, you've never been to the great river. So this is how they introduce the area. Your thoughts turn to your friends. But remember, you are held in the grip of your dreams. Nothing you have seen here is real, Pinely. I am sure our friends will be fine. What? What is this place? That river could be the Anduin, but have you ever seen this place? I wonder what has been called to your memory. Yeah, because I have no memories of this place at this point in the storyline, of course. The time has come for me to leave you again. Good night, my friend. Oh, boy. And what we see here is the company of of the ring as they travel down the Andiling. What is it, Master Frodo? You do not look well, and have not since we came back to the shore. That shape won't be coming back, I wager. Legolos shot it down with his arrows, he did. And a good thing it was, too. You clutched your shoulder when it appeared, and looked to be in great 
deal of pain. Are you sure you are feeling all right? Oh, fun. I am worried for you, Mr. Frodo. I am fine, Sam. I felt a chill in my heart, and the pain in my soldier, shoulder reminded me of, well, it is gone now. Nothing more than a passing memory. I think we will be fine for it. You mean you think it was a dream? Uh, the orcs have attacked us from the other side of the shore. We're dismayed by the fall of, well, whatever that shadow has been. And yet, every paddle stroke of the river brings us further south. And as it does, my heart sinks southward still. Tonight, the bow of Legolo saved us. But for how long will our fortune hold? I am sorry, Sam. I do not want you to worry. Oh, yes. He doesn't want us to worry. But now our friends are gone. Something else comes. They were here, yes, precious. They were here. Sneaking and creeping, precious. Floating and hiding. Nose flashing and splashing. Like the fishes. <coughs> Aha. So Gollum is also following them, in addition to whatever they shot from the sky. Are you a nice fishy? Tasty? We need to keep up your strength. <coughs> We can't take the precious if our pens are too weak to wrap and squeeze. We need our strength. Tasty fishy. Eat. And then we follows the precious. Good. Good. Oh my. Another unfamiliar place. And a sword. A mysterious one. Vivid color returns to the world. Well, that's good to see, after all that dreamy stuff. But Candace is gone. My friends are gone. Hold on. Someone is around here. Where? Pineleaf! Where are you? I cannot see you, Pineleaf. Where are you? Who is that? What is that? Something is coming. Oh, Galadriel. The darkness is all around you. It flies with winged speed to endanger our secret purpose. Finally, you must come to Lothlorien. Come to Lothlorien and bring the ghost. So cold. And by the ghost, they mean Nona here. Well, hopefully we don't run into her as being a literal ghost. But that is our reflections on the past here. Now it's time for a second one. The enemy is marching upon Heightbourne intent upon defeating the lords of the Easternet and claiming Eastern Rohan as their own. Yes, that's one of the memories I have of building this area all the way from a ruin into a vibrant village and then of course at the end Atherward comes and decides to wreck the whole place or at least try to. Well, Harding, what should we do? I do not believe you will find welcome here. Oh, thanks a lot! I mean, this is a village I just built up! Good grief. Are you prepared to join us on the field of battle today? Why not? I built the place. Atherward, I'm glad to see you're well and unharmed. What foe threatens us this day? A throng of orcs out of the pits of Isengard. Sent here to raise Hutbold and slay all who have gathered at his witten. But how have they come far into our lands without us knowing? How you ask, Harding, you addled fool? They 
came because I let them. Sounds like treachery to me. So, Wormtongue is not Saruman's only ally. Huh. Of course not. The wizard has given me orcs to help me, and in return, he shall make me king of all the Eastament. Say he wants to break off a rock. King, never your treachery will be earn you your death. Uh, whoops. Burn it all. Tear it to the ground. But kill the, spared my daughter, but kill the rest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Death, death of us for Thornhope. Yeah, there's the Thane of Thornhope. Well, it was the Thane of Thornhope. Whoops. Oh, well, let's go and take care of some of these. Okay, defend the north flank. Oh, good, because I'm on the north flank right now. So I gotta help with these. Now, of course, this is a level 85 quest, and I am level 105, so that helps a little bit. That's the thing that when you redo quests like this, that's a lot easier. Now, I think she really needed to bring a shield with her. I mean, really. <laughs> a shield helps a A little armor doesn't hurt either, but unfortunately we were caught here without expecting battle, but... Yeah. Armor and shield helps a great deal in battle. Actually, he is wearing mail. I, I can see that there is, that there's evidence that he is wearing mail under all that is useful but yeah shields are also pretty useful to have around but okay but male yeah good to have on okay south flank whoops whoops all right send them See how many orcs we can kill. More than we did is trying to do Helm's D. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, anyone else? Yeah, of course. Continual stream of orcs. That's what we're going to have all day. But anyway, this is the final instance related to Hoothfold. Because when you do hoot bulb, you go through days, several days worth of rebuilding of the thing. Where actually, what you do in order to do hoot bulb is that you have these daily quests. These daily quests earn you favor, and they also earn you tokens and use the tokens I suppose in order to pay for workers who actually do the real building because let's face it, you're too busy doing all these quests to physically be building and rebuilding the place. But I presume your work gets you enough favor and treasure and all that stuff in order to get those get the workers you need in order to do anything. Alright. Rad Vikings, you still have. Alright, let, let's go. Okay, oh, oh sorry, Enis. And uh, that is the. Uh, Shut on! She's my child! She must live! That was Saruman's word! Uh, oh. For little fool, Saruman says all must die! No! Ah! Okay, anyway. So Athwold now is fighting the troll. Who can't be hurt at this point. But apparently at the world has decided that well he drew the line of killing Enos. That that's 
That sounds typical. All right, there we go. Aquabolt is weak in the troll. Now we defeat the troll. Actually, maybe. Oops! Ouch! Ow! That gave me a headache. My lord, what tidings brings you? It is done. The orcs are broken. They flee across the plain. Not for long. Our riders will cut them down as they run. None shall return to Isengard. So, we have won. But at what cost? Beermorth, Bradwing, Yisil, Atherward. That coward is hardly a loss. Meaning Atherward, of course. No, coward he. He died for his child's sake. Villain he may be, yet brave was his ending. Perhaps. But a minstrel would waste no breath to sing for him. Oh, 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 he's a minstrel. Okay, I see. I grieve for the good men who died today. As do we all. High is the price we have paid. Perhaps too high. But victory is ours. Ingbert, tell your riders to let some of the orcs go. What? What for? So the Saruman can hear the tale of this battle and tremble within his tower. In other words, he brought to ruin us. Instead, he has woken the kin kindled our wrath. Let the wizard know. Let all men know. The Rittermark's courage slumbers no more. It slumbers no more. And the Mead Hall of Hootbold is still standing, which is good because I am Honorary Thane of Hootbold, amongst all the other titles I've earned during the course of this game. But that is it for this week's series. So next week we'll enter into Year 9, where we'll find more tales, travels, and trifles in Scavenging with Pinelink.